Praise the Lord. Now, I want to briefly share on a subject that is also in line with the Holy Communion today from the book of John, chapter number 6. And uh, just simply, I've entitled my sermon today, The Bread of Life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, in the book of John, just a little background, our focus will be from verse 22 to Kendelea. Um, John himself, Johanna, when Aliandika, John, is that John, the son of Zebedee, and he was one of the 12 disciples. And uh, some theologians say that the reason why he was writing the book of John was because there was a fellow called Serinthus, who had, they were bringing down, they were watering down uh, the life of Jesus, the ministry of Jesus, the mystery of Jesus. So they say, John, do for us. You have been there. Umekua na Yesu, umetembea na yeye, unamjua, neweni rafiki. Praise the Lord. Sibwana lisema yule Yohana aliependwa na buwana. Is that what is called the one, the beloved, the beloved of the Lord. So this John was a man who was close to God. He was close to Christ as they were walking. So he was compelled. Kwa sababu alikuwa metembea na hei, na wanajua yali alifanya na mali alienda. Sasa wakasema, sasa, the best person to give us the story of his mystery of who he is, is you, John. So John's um, gospel is concentrated at a given place, and it was to counter the other stories that were coming about. Praise the Lord. And every time there are many things, there are many people who would talk things that are contrary. They sound doctrines. 
we thank God for the apostle. Na leo tulikuwa tunaona yale mafundisho. He brings love and he brings it in a way that is simple yet very complex. Praise the Lord. And we will continue. We have said we want to be grounded. Tell somebody we want to be grounded. So we want to get to the basics. We want to get to the foundation. Because a house that is not built on a strong foundation is a very shaky house. If something happens, ndio naona wakisikia kuna maji inauzwa mahali, wanakimbia pale. Kuna handkerchief pande hii, wanakimbia kwa handkerchiefs. Praise the Lord because of the foundation. So we want to be grounded. And I know kuna wengi tumeingia na labda wengine hatukuanana na apostle. So tunapeana fursa na nafasi ya si sote tuone mtume alikuwa anasema nini na alianza namna gani na alikuwa anaongea yapi. Praise the Lord preaching the gospel, the basics. Praise. So in the book of John chapter number 6 I know He's second me to 22, but before that, just stay there. I'll, I'll, I'll give a background and some. In John chapter 6 from verse 1, there is the talk. There is the talk. Uh, welcome, Thomas. Thomas is my friend. He's come in. Uh, so there is the talk of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Praise the Lord. And it's a very interesting uh, it's a very interesting uh, story if you read it ukipata nafasi nitaomba msome the whole of John 6 um, it starts with uh, Jesus challenging his people about feeding the people he wants to introduce him being the bread of life he wants to introduce what his mission is about what he came for but he starts it in a way like you would do in most cases starts it with a thing that we understand praise the lord you see when you go to a people and you want to minister to them it is easy to talk about things that they understand praise the lord najua itakuwa vigumu uende mount kenya uanze kuambia kuhusu wavuvi Fishermen. Tell them about fishermen. Tell them about pressure lamps. How they go to the night. How they throw the nets. It would be very difficult, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And there are certain things also that it would be very difficult to tell people from around the lake that are around the mountain. I must tell you, the first time I saw a mirror tree was about 10 years ago. I had thought there were shrubs. Nilikuwa nafikiri tu ni tu shrubs, shrubs tu so you you pick. Eh? And I have cousins because our home is a uh, we have all the tribes gathered together. I have cousins who had never seen a ground nut. Hawakuwa wameona njugu ile njugu the raw one. Wanajua tu ile ya kukula. So one time they came home to Kaenda to the farm to harvest ground nuts. Even after we've removed them, they still don't know. Until you remove it, pap, oh, ninjugu. Praise the Lord. So, Jesus is speaking to these people. He wants to introduce something that is very important to their lives. But it starts from what they know. It says, hey, feed, can, how can we feed these guys? And his disciples are saying, these ones, Jesus, you don't know what you are talking about. These people are so many that even salary for half a year will not feed them. The Bible says he was asking them and yet he had known what he wanted to do. Praise the Lord. So the concept of bread is brought at that point. Say, oh, there's a young man here. There's some, some, some boy here. You can see he's walking with some few loaves of bread. But, but what can that do? You know, that is the attitude. Ini kidogo sana. What, what can it do? It can't do much. And the Bible goes on, and the feeding happens. After they have eaten, I'm just giving a background, they're coming to the bread of life. After the eating, the physical bread, sasa wameshiba. Hata wakujua yesu wameenda which side? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
You know, sometimes when God starts to bless us with the natural little blessings, we start to forget about the Lord. Tunamsau. Alikuwa na wao, ni ye yame walisha. Lakini Bibile na sama, awakujua, awakujua hezu wa mena na mnagani. Awajui, alikuwa na sama, by the way, where did he go? There was only one ship here. Eh? You look at Kabot, hile ndogo. Lakini, situliona tu ni wanafunzi walingia kwa iyo iyo chombo. Praise the Lord. These are disciples that, where did this man go to? So they started looking for Jesus. And sometimes, and I believe that the reason why they are now starting to look for Jesus is because the food that they had is already digested. So they are thinking, hey, 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 sasa tumeaza kuhisi nja. Na uja ama kweli, alikuwa hapa, na amenda wapi. Sina wanafuzi ndo tumewana wameingia kwa chombu wame, wame safiri. Praise the Lord. And that is the attitude. Sometimes the physical bread, the physical blessings, the Lord starts to bless us, and the moment he starts to bless us, we forget about him and the mission. Praise the Lord. Wengine tunakuja kanisani kwa sababu tunashida. Na saile, buwana atatatua yale shida. That would be the end of us. We say, bye-bye Jesus, meet you when I'm in another problem. This is what the disciples, that is their behavior. Where was Jesus go? But then, they say we look for him. We look for him. This guy is a good guy. He gave us bread, we ate, we're feeling nice. We remember the Lord when again we are in trouble. Praise the Lord. When the next phase of something comes up, if the Lord, you are asking the Lord and believing him for something, and the Lord does it, then we forget him for a while. But when we get into another issue, then we remember, oh, let's look for the Lord again. So they looked for him, and they found him. Praise the Lord. So when they found him, Jesus has a story for them. He says, I know, you are not looking for me for the words I will talk to you about. You are looking for me because of the, the bread that you ate. Praise the Lord. And people are still seeking bread to date. People are still following miracles. The Bible says, signs and wonders will follow us. But we are busy following signs and wonders. We love to see if I was to do a crusade, and I wrote a big poster and said, and, and, and brought some photos, photoshopped or otherwise, or people with crutches and say, yeah, people will, uh, you know, the, the lame walking. The, everybody wants to go to that place. And yet, they themselves... God has given them the capacity to be miracle workers. Praise the Lord. So, they come, they get him. And Jesus starts to speak other things. And we are getting to verse number 22. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just a few thoughts. And then we will be having the Holy Communion. Verse 22, it says, The day following... When the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that, uh, that one wherein his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone, continue, uh, howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias, nigh unto the place where they did eat bread, where they ate bread, after that, the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. Praise the Lord. And that is what I was saying. They have started to feel the hunger again. And they are looking for Jesus because he is a provider of bread. Physical bread. Jesus had a deeper mission. He had a deeper thought. And every time the Lord calls us, he would bless us, all right. But it is not the blessings. The Bible says we seek you the kingdom first and his righteousness. And these things, all these other things, the blessings, whatever it is that is troubling us. These things that are causing us to wake up at night and fail to get sleep again. 
These things that causes us to be in a state where we are in panic literally every time. These things that causes us to be fearful. He says these are things that should be addition. Praise the Lord. They are just the physical bread. But there's a deeper bread. They're the bread of life that Christ wanted them to get. Verse number 25. Continue, verse 25. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when comest thou hither? Continue. Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because he did eat of the laws and were filled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Akambia ukweli. Siyo ndi ukweli wa mambu. Ya? Wengine tumekuja kutafuta. Young men, wengine tumekuja kutafuta bibi. Sa hile tumekupatia na besema and the two shall know what God has joined together. Let no man put us out. Bas. Next Sunday, umeenda honeymoon. The other Sunday, we back you kwa honeymoon. And we don't see you in church again. Praise the Lord. There's somebody who's looking for a job, desperately for a job. The Lord provides a job. And then that's the last time you're seen in, you would have said, Masasa, unaona hii. Najua na hii pesa sasa na pasia najua na hende, aliomba. Ataanza ku, ni surutisha ni lipe taithi. Eh? Ni anunue gari ingine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of the bread, the loaves that you ate. Jesus has a thing deeper than the blessings. Praise the Lord. There is something, there is a purpose for which he came. There is something that a level that he wants us to get to that is deeper than the blessings that we can see with our eyes. There are deeper things, deeper spiritual things that the Lord has for us higher than the lows that would fill our stomach. And after a while, we are hungry. Let's continue. Uh, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. Praise the Lord. He is telling us, change your focus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What it is that caused you to be saved? It was good enough. Jesus says you can't even be saved unless his father brings you to him. Praise the Lord. But there could have been a reason. Unajua kila mtu wali okoka kwa sababu fulani. Praise the Lord. That was good enough. Iyo haikuwa mbaya. Ile kuleta kwa ufalmi. It brought you to the king. Whatever it was, it brought you to the kingdom. But that is not where God wants you to be. That is what he says. Those are the elementaries. You remember, we were seeing the teaching of the apostles. Uh, they were saying that those elementary things. Praise the Lord. But once you're in the kingdom, we are expected now to search for the real reason why we're in the kingdom. Praise the Lord. We were just not called to come and enjoy good sermons on Sundays. Call to come and sing, enjoy good praises and sing hallelujah. We are called for deeper things than that. For a deeper relationship with Christ. Continue. Let's continue. Uh -huh. Then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? I love that bit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What shall we? What shall we do? that we might work the works of God. Now, growth has started. Praise the Lord. You have come into the kingdom, but you are saying, I'm not just contented that I'm born again. I've told you my story. There was a time all I could do was just to give a testimony. I was born again and excited. Praise the Lord. But I, I was excited just to tell people, you know, I'm born again. I love the Lord. And that was it. But these people moved a step further. They are asking the Lord, God, what is it? Why have you saved me? Why have you called me? What, what is it that you want me to do? What is it? What are the equipments that I need to have so that I can do the works of God, not to do the works of men? 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord taking us to another level. Brethren, it is the desire of the Lord that we get away and start to get to the higher heights. Pressing on. We keep pressing on. Tunauliza buwana ni nini unataka nifanyi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I can do the works of God. Because you have not called me. Just for no reason. Then continue. Verse 28, 29. Jesus answered them. Uh, uh, Jesus answered and said unto them. This is the work of God. That you believe on him whom he hath sent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus is the bread of life. Praise the Lord. In the book of John, Jesus reveals his identity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He reveals his identity by the famous I am's. Have we heard of the seven I am's in the book of John? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the benefit of those who may not have heard the I am's. There are seven I am's. I just want to mention them. The first I am is the one that we are talking about. I am the bread of life. We are about to get to it. It's in John 6.35. Just stay where you are. Don't go to John 6.35. We'll be there. I am the bread of life. And that is the first because it is the most important. We will be talking about it shortly. The second I am, he says, I am the light of the world. Praise the Lord. And that is now in verse number, in John 8, verse 12, for those who are writing. Then he says, I am the door. I am the door. And we know that Jesus is the door. It is through the finished work at Calvary, through him accepting to come, that we have gotten into the kingdom. He is the door. John 10, 7. Then he says, I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. Praise the Lord. And that is John 10, 11. Then he says, I am the resurrection and the life. Getting, graduating. Eh? Ametoka mkati wa uzima. Sasa is the resurrection of, um, the resurrection and the life. That is John eleven twenty five. 25. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is John 14, verse 6. And finally, he says, I'm the true vine in John 15, verse 1. Praise the Lord. So Jesus is progressing and is talking about him as the bread of life. Praise the Lord. And then he continues. Let's go a bit. Um, verse number 30 says, They said therefore unto him, What sign showeth thou then that we may see and believe thee what Dost thou work? Praise the Lord. Now, the people are demanding for a sign. I'm wondering what sign they want to have. Praise the Lord. Because a few verses up, Jesus has fed 5,000 plus people with five loaves and two. There they say fishes. Eh? My English teacher told me it is fish. But the fish can be a thing different species. One could have been Obambla and the other one could have been Ngege or something. Praise the Lord. Now, he has shown them a sign. But they are still saying, we need to see a sign. Praise the Lord. And you see, that is the trouble of man today. Every time we are eager, we want to have something that we can see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as long as somebody can show us something, something that has semblance of uh, something that, is, uh, that looks a little extraordinary, we'll be following that person. It doesn't matter where he's getting the powers from. It doesn't matter what they believe in. It doesn't matter anything. We want a sign. Yes, continue verse 31. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, and it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Yes. Then, okay, from there. Now, there is a story of the children of Israel. God had started to prepare 
and to foretell about Jesus even when they were in the desert. Praise the Lord. If you look at uh, the book of Exodus 16, just stay where we are. We'll see under Exodus 16 because I'm just mis- mentioning it in passing. Uh, verse 3 and 4. We see the children of Israel crying. They want to go back to Egypt. Rebellion. I call it the second rebellion. After we had rebelled in the Garden of Eden and were chased out, and there was something that could have been eaten. Sometimes I say that if had Adam only first eaten that fruit of life, yeah? So there was the tree of life. Sasa angeanza na hiyo, ndiyo hatafute hiyo knowledge. So, inge manisha ange kufa, kwa sababu walikuwa. Lakini ye, ni kama sisi, anatafuta sign, anatafuta knowledge. Yeah? Anatafuta marifa, na umarufu. He wants to be a great person. Praise the Lord. So he starts with the wrong one. The one that he was told not to take. So the children of Israel in Exodus 16, if you read from verse 3 going down there, they are crying out to Moses. They are telling Moses, you took us out of Egypt. There were graves there. They start to talk. When they were in Egypt, the Bible records that the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, and the Lord heard them. God sends a deliverer. Now the deliverer is delivering them. What are they telling the deliverer? We want to go back to slavery. Tunataka kurudi kwa utumwa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hatutaki kuenda sisi atujui hii maneno imekuwa ngumu. Sasa hapa hakuna chakula, hakuna mkate. Tazigine hii mwendo tukiendelea. We get to places where they are very thick. Things are thick. Praise the Lord. But then they said, the Bible says in that uh, portion of uh, scripture in verse 4, then said the Lord to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. Nitatuma mkatef kutoka binguni. Bread from heaven. We are talking about Jesus. That I'm saying this was to show what was to come. Praise the Lord. A disobedient people that deserve to die in the wilderness. But the Lord still says, I'm not going to allow you to die. I'm sending bread from heaven. Praise the Lord. And the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or not. Bread from heaven. And we know the story. Manna came. Human beings were what they were. Every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Means we are walking one day at a time. Eh? These people had Christ walking with them. Had the assurance of tomorrow. Because he has said it will be every day. But they still never believed even that assurance from God. Some of them became clever. And uh, started to try to amass. You know there's a spirit, eh? Gluttony is a sin, isn't it? Gluttony. You know there are people who are gluttons. Praise the Lord. Kuna people who are gla? Hallelujah. Wakipewa, unajua where they have food and they are caterers. Sometimes those caterers would want to serve you, not because of anything. Just because they are not sure about you. Praise the Lord. Juhu kuna wengine wakiruhusiwa kujiserve. Oh my goodness, utaona majabu. Chakula inanguka huku lakini bado wanaongeza. Eh? Was, somebody was making fun kuna wengine wali wali serve wanafikiri kila kitu ina inakulwa safari moja. After he has served meat and chicken, chapati, uh, some pilau, uh, some 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 uh, gideri, then it reached the place of the fruits. And then scooped the fruits, poured again on top of the food. A gluttonous spirit. These people had that problem. Praise the Lord. So, God is showing us that in our worthlessness, it is the provision from heaven that is able to sort us out. We are coming to Christ, the bread of life. Praise the Lord. It is provisions from on high. 
And these provisions are daily. Praise the Lord. It was getting deep to me, you know. We were singing that song, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. And I was wondering, what is this anxiety that we have? So, we are worried about many things. We are told, oh, you, can just, you cannot make any change on your own. Just put your trust in God. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter how bad the situation looks. It matters that you are in the hands of the Lord. Period. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wana sifiwe. Deuteronomy 8.3. Way back it wapo John 6. Tuendele. Nato umerudi ju. Deuteronomy 8.3. It says, And he humbled thee, he's talking about the children of Israel, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna. Who suffered the children of Israel to hunger? It was the Lord. Praise the Lord. He suffered them to hunger, but he provided manna. He gave manna to them. The bread of life. And in fact, uh, here it says, uh, which thou knewest not. Praise the Lord. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth, uh, doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Praise the Lord. Now we never knew Christ. Christ knew us. We are told we did not know the manner. Our parents didn't know the manner. But God proved to us one thing, that we can only live when we allow Christ to live in us. Praise the Lord. Without Christ, we are nothing. Without Christ, we are dead. Without Christ, we are lost. And he quotes, Jesus quotes this scripture when he's being tempted by the devil. Praise the Lord. He was told, oh, if you're really the son of God, turn these stones into bread and eat. The devil thought that this physical bread was more important than the mission that God had. He said, it is written, quoting Deuteronomy 8.3, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Praise the Lord. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 78, 24, the Bible says, And he rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the, com of the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels' food. He sent the meat to the full. Praise the Lord. The corn of heaven. Jesus, the corn of heaven. Hallelujah. He says, I am, I am the bread of life. Praise the Lord. So we get to understand, as we continue in uh, what you are saying, that number one, Jesus is a gift given to us. Praise the Lord. Gift from heaven given to us. Now, a gift is that which you are given that you do not deserve to have. Praise the Lord. Si tumepewa zawadi at a point. Wana sifiwe. Zawadi depends on the person giving it, not on you. Yeye ni anamua, huyo nataka kukubariki na koti. Sio wewe unasema unaenda kwake unamwambia mimi nataka koti. Ah ah. It is the giver that decides on the gift. And God chose himself. He chose the best for us, Jesus Christ, because he had a greater mission for us. He created man that we, in the long run, would be worshippers in heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To kifanya praise and worship, that is the only thing that transcends. Yonde kuhuku na inapatikana binguni. Najua kuna crusades binguni. Atumenda kwa kona unaubiria, unaubiria nani? Kila mutu ni mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. No preaching. Hakuna, hakuna, hakuna maubiri. Lakini praise and worship will be there to worship God. So God has created us to be there to worship him. Praise the Lord. So it's a gift. It's a gift from God. The other thing that bread uh, of life is a symbolic representation of God's life sustaining provisions. Praise the Lord. Jesus says I'm the bread of life. It is a representation 
that God is able to sustain us. Praise the Lord. Tukijiweka mikononi mwa Yesu. Wapendwa tuko salama. Praise the Lord. He is able to sustain. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the situation, the circumstance. When we put ourselves in the hands of God, he's able to sustain us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the bread of life is able to satisfy our, 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 our longings. Praise the Lord. What is it? What is it that we want to have? You know, uh, but I think I said this story or this uh, example one time here. There are people who are very rich and yet very lonely. Praise the Lord. Even in this country, there are people who have a lot of land and yet they still kill for the next one acre. What they have already, they can't, they can't utilize. Wakuna shamba kubwa, si hata wao wanaishi pale, ni wanyama tu, na crisscross, swara huku, sungura pandei. Lakini bado anaua, ndi apate tena ikazingine kidogo. The problem with that person is because they are not satisfied. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are still thirsty. They are not satisfied. Why? Because there's no Christ in them. Paul anasema contentment with godliness and contentment is of great gain. Praise the Lord. Unakuta kuna mutu, siyo tajiri sana, lakini vile anaishi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ukienda pale na wako na kashkuma, na wakapitia pale, wakatapata ka nini ka uh, avocado ya 20 bob. <laughs> wakatakata avocado kwa hiyo skuma. And the way they are eating it. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Even if you didn't want to eat, you just, <laughs> you can ask them to eat for you on your behalf. Because of the way they are eating it. Joyfully, cheerfully. And yet there's another one with meat. Big chunks. Well fried. But there's no, there's no satisfaction. And yet enough kidding to melatoy is a bit mingi, sijui. What are they called? This viungo viungo to naweka mingi 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 mingi. Dania, vinzari, sijui nini. We are, we are trying to put everything to make it spicy, but still to our mouths. But to nasema, hey, inyama si aikai poa. Na kuna ingine, boiro tu, kaboiro. Eh, boiro. But it's very nice. Praise the Lord. I'm saying that unless we allow the bread of life, Jesus, to satisfy us, nothing will. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. When somebody is employed, you are looking for a job, you say, oh, if only I got a job where I can earn 20,000 per month. Hiyo itaniso. Itaniso. Unaingia pali, after two months, nasema, hey, E20 sio mzuri. Labda nipate ile nitakuwa napata kitu ka 35. Ah 35 sasa sitataka kitu kingine. Takuwa home and dry. Alafu sasa sio ya 35, napata ya 50, 50k. Praise the Lord. Four or five months down the road, naongea na sister Lona na kuambia, "Hey, where I work? Um, as we are of is it called five figures?" Yeah, the five figures. Six figures, huh? Yeah, since there were six figures. So, hey, kumbe kuna six figures. And if I got where I earn a hundred K, oh, and then you get there. And the story continues and continues. And you get to, with the moment now you get to a place you're earning a million, now you become a thief. Praise the Lord. Am I speaking the truth? Yes. We are Kenyans and we know what happens. These people who are earning more than you and me are the ones who are in the corruption scandals every day. Praise the Lord. I thought sasa ukipata kamilioni jameni. Sio sasa kweli, sio hiyo hiyo ni mzuri, hiyo ni pesa mzuri. Mbona tena uibe? And they are still the ones stealing. Why? Because they are not satisfied. 
Their longings in the heart are not satisfied because there is no Christ, the bread of life, to satisfy them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we eat the bread of life, I want to finish. We live forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we eat the bread of life, and today we have the Lord's table, we have an opportunity. When we eat the bread of life, we live forever. I think there's nothing better. Praise the Lord. Ata ukipewa dunia nzima, Biblia inasema, what gain is it to have or own or take the whole earth and lose your soul? Hallelujah. Unajua ata, ata mali ama, ama feather ama hela, kuna mali na afikia. If you told me to trade my life, good health, for a billion shillings, I will still tell you, please keep the billion and it let me have my life. If I can breathe normally and I can walk normally, please, watch a nibaki na chukwa yo pesa. Praise the Lord. Jump to verse 35. I want to mention it. Um, shortly I'll be calling those who are helping us with the service of the Holy Communion. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. I am all in all. I am the one who will satisfy. I am the one who will help. I am the one who will take you to where you want to go to. Verse 36. I want to move a little fast. Yeah? But, but I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. We have seen the miracles. We have seen and felt the presence of the Lord. There are people that would come and there's a heavy presence of the Lord in a meeting and still they go back the way they came. They go back dry as they came. They go back saying, me, ata kuna kitu nilisikia. Leo, kulikuwa boring. Praise the Lord. Wengine wame wame They have shouted for the Lord. But because you didn't like the way that brother was dressed. So instead of concentrating on the Lord, you are concentrating on his tie or his coat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue. And all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will, um, I will in no way wise cast out. Verse 38. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. 39. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. That is our dream. Praise the Lord. That one day when the trumpet sounds, all of us would rise and would get to glory. Praise the Lord. Just continue. I am this, um, I want to continue. And this is the will of him that sent me. No, um, continue the next verse 41. Well, that's the last. Hallelujah. So this is the ultimate. This is what we are looking for. Praise the Lord. That ultimately, when we have the bread of life, when we have the bread of life in us, that bread of life would one day bring us. I want to call the ones who are coming to help us. Praise the Lord. Can we get to verse 53? Verse 53, as I'm calling... Um, the others, are we stuck? Yes. Um, just come, the, the sisters were helping us, the deaconesses. As I get to verse 53, and we continue, I'll be calling um, a few elders to help me. Verse 53 say, says, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Praise the Lord. Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this brings us to an important component that we symbolically do. 
We cannot eat, we cannot be partakers unless we are born again. Praise the Lord. We are going to get to the Lord's table shortly. But I want to say this. The Lord's table is not just for members of Christ only, but it is for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Bora tu umeokoka. Sio lazima uwe mshiriki wa ili kanisa. Born again. Washed by the blood. But it, it is a powerful thing if I would call uh, Elder Sauce, Elder David. Uh -huh. Who do I have again? Um, I can have all the, the four elders just to come today. The four of you just come and uh, help us here. Praise the Lord. We can only be partakers of the body and the blood of Christ. We can only be able to eat the body and the drink of the blood when we are born again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But it's an important thing. We can start. Uh, it, is, uh, there, it is an important thing to be partakers because he says that if we do not do that, we have no life in us because we are denying. We'll be denying Christ. Praise the Lord. Move to verse 54. He says, who so, eat, um, who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. Praise the Lord. And then for my, continue, uh, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Yes, continue. I want us to go to almost verse 59 or 60. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Praise the Lord. The moment we commemorate and the moment we are showing that we are partakers of the body and the blood of Christ, we are dwelling, we are demonstrating a communion. We are demonstrating a relationship with God. We are demonstrating that we have the desire to get to heaven. Praise the Lord. We have the desire to get to the eternal life. Praise the Lord. And there, um, as the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Now that is a very, a very serious call. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is a very serious call. The call to live by him. What does it mean? It is beyond a casual relationship with God. Praise the Lord. A deeper, deeper, deeper relationship. Living by, walking by. Everything that you do, you are doing it for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, my life is in you. Says, we are reading John 15. I'm the true vine. You are the branches. A branch is attached to the vine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Deeper commitment. Hallelujah. 